In the previous lectures, you learned how we provision machines. The next step is to use configuration management tools to automate the installation and configuration of software. In the next lectures, I will focus on Ansible and Chef. The four popular automation tools are Puppet, Chef, Ansible and SaltStack. They can all fulfill the role of configuration management. Puppet is the oldest one. Their initial release was in 2005. You can do all pretty much the same with all four tools. I've seen that bigger organizations often adopted Puppet or Chef, where startups often adopt Ansible. Ansible is one of the relatively newer tools. It's easier to get started with than the other tools. It also doesn't have a service or daemon running. It just pushes the changes over SSH, whereas the other three have a client server model. In this course, I'm going to focus on Ansible and Chef. You'll be able to experience the differences between the two approaches they take. Let's discuss the differences between Ansible and Chef. Ansible only uses SSH to push its changes to the nodes. Chef uses a client on the nodes that is called Chef Client. The Chef Client periodically checks the server if there are any changes, by default every 30 minutes. Chef also has a push plugin that allows you to push some changes instead of pull. If you don't want to use a server with Chef, there is also Chef Solo, which is a standalone version that can operate without Chef Server. It's like Chef Client without a server. The state of Chef nodes are always saved in Chef Server, which is not the case with Ansible. You execute Ansible and it pushes all the changes to the nodes. If you use Ansible Tower with Ansible, you can keep the state, but that is optional and you have to pay for that product. Ansible is newer than Chef, so you will see that Chef is more mature and has more features than Ansible. Ansible uses Python as a programming language and YAML files as configuration files. Chef uses Ruby as a programming language and embedded Ruby and JSON as configuration files. Because of the simplicity, Ansible has a low learning curve. It also uses a relatively easy language to describe the configuration, called YAML. Chef is much more complex and it has a higher learning curve. In Ansible, there are not as many playbooks available as in Chef. Playbooks describe the configuration of a piece of software. For instance, you can have playbooks for Apache, a web server. In Chef, it is called a recipe, and there are already lots of recipes available for Chef. Because Chef is around longer, there are already a lot of recipes available and you don't always have to write your own. Amazon AWS also adopted Chef in their own Opsorb product, which gave Chef recipes a boost. Ansible, because of its simplicity, can sometimes be less powerful than Chef. Chef has a very code-driven approach, is very flexible, but can therefore be also more complicated. Depending on what your needs are, you might want to adopt Ansible, because it's so much easier to use. If you need more complex deployments and keep the state of all your servers, Chef might be a better fit for you. Ansible was acquired by Red Hat in October 2015, which might give Ansible an extra push to bring out and test more playbooks and maybe even the pricing of Ansible Tower will change, because it's pretty expensive now for smaller and medium companies. Chef is a private company that was previously known as Opscode, they are based in Seattle.